Hey you guys, this is Ian and welcome to another creature creation session being recorded once again live on Twitch. As per usual, I'm going to be getting a selection of animals from the Twitch chat in order to mash them together into some new weird wonderful creature. This time however, rather than choosing three animals, we're just going to be choosing the two animals and an attribute to go with them. Twitch chat has already given me those animals and you can see them up in front of you right now. We have a koala, a fennec fox, a flamingo, a toucan, a Bengal tiger, a vole and a mammoth. We also have a lionfish, a ringtail lemur, an ostrich, a wolverine, a moth and a capybara. Those are the animals that we're going to be selecting between. We're going to get two of those animals. And finally the attribute to, to go with them will be magic or huge or ancient or bulky or horns or armoured. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Twitch chat have decided I'm going to be painting today. There is going to be an extra vote on the toucan, on the ostrich and on huge as there has been made aware to me that a few people have been unable to vote in chat and they've already let me know what their vote is going to be. So without any more ado, let's check and see what those animals we're going to be working with are. The first one is going to be a fennec fox. We've got, so it's a fennec fox and a toucan joint for uh, first place with that extra vote. And then our second animal is going to be the wolverine. And finally, our attribute is going to be Oh bloody hell. Uh... <laughs> so let's get one extra vote in there and find a one attribute rather than four. Cheers guys, thanks for that. Thanks. Okay fine, you know what, let's do it. I don't care. Right, we're going for a magical, huge, ancient, horned, armoured, fennec fox, toucan wolverine. Let's get this going. Rather than allowing myself to get caught up in the list of attributes that I had to deal with, I decided to start off by figuring out how to combine the animals together. I realized fairly quickly that it was going to be better to focus primarily on the fennec fox and the wolverine as the toucan I felt was going to be distracting and make it more complicated than it needed to be. So I started by combining the wolverine and the fennec fox together and I ended up with a creature which already seemed to be fulfilling a few of those attribute requirements, particularly huge, and as it had a fairly demonic demeanor to it as well, I realized that it could also fulfill the horned and magical attributes, which left me with just a few to address when it came to the final piece. Well, considering the complete shambles that was the uh, attribute voting that we had before, I think we've come up with something really quite special with this guy. So we decided fairly early on to go down a more of a bipedal humanoid form for this creature, combining both the wolverine and the fennec fox into this big beastly creature and then taking inspiration from the toucan for the shape of the cloak and also some of the colouring. We're also going to add some toucan skulls and things into the mix as well. The whole thing started feeling very demonic, so we're bringing in demonic magic into the whole thing. And I think as we develop the final piece, the other attributes that we haven't quite worked out yet, such as the armoured, the ancient, will start to make more sense. So I'm going to jump straight in to developing the final piece right now. I really liked the pose that I gave this guy during the design phase, so I decided to stick with it for the final piece and built upon it with elements from the toucan which I introduced into its clothing, as well as adding a, a necklace of toucan skulls around his, around his neck. To carry on with that demonic theme, I decided to go with some bone-like armor structures branching out from underneath his skin. I also added this pentagram-like symbol onto the floor beneath him, and also this volcanic backdrop to him as well to really help sell that demonic nature that I was going for. As always, I keep my final sketch very loose and then move on to doing a masking layer beneath it. This is the part of the process that I personally find most tedious, just laying down one solid colour underneath the uh, line work. It always seems to take a really long time and I think that is just because it is one solid colour going down for however long it takes, but the benefits to using a mask are huge. I never used to use one and as soon as I actually started using one in my artwork I found that production time of the final piece just dropped astronomically because I wasn't having to worry about going outside of the line so much when it came to doing shadows and lighting layers. I could just paint where I felt the paint needed to go. 
It also obviously helps with the way that I lay down local colour because I am very loose when it comes to putting in local colour. I, I like to just throw colour down and let it mix on the page as it does naturally. Having that masking layer means that I, again, I don't have to worry about going over the lines and I can keep it very loose and paint from the elbow and, and just go for it. And it really does just help me stay loose with the painting. When it came to choosing the colors for the final creature, I stuck very much with using the Wolverine and the Fennec Fox for the creature itself, and then used colors from the Toucan for uh, mostly its clothing. So keeping those bright colors to the various pieces of cloth and such that he has tied to him. Because I'd already established the environment that I was going to be putting this creature into, it wasn't too difficult to figure out what the lighting shades and things that I was going to be needing were. So using a very desaturated reddish brown colour on a multiply layer, I was able to start laying in the very basic broader areas of shadow. This is done on top of the line work so that uh, gradually the line work will start to disappear and then I start alternating back and forwards between light and dark, light areas and shadowed areas and gradually a 3D form can be built up in this manner and slowly but surely the line work will go away until you're able to turn it off entirely. Now I'm not 100% happy with how this turned out with this particular creature. I think because I had this idea of lighting him from underneath from the pentagram itself on the floor, it made the lighting a lot more challenging and I don't think I managed to pull it off quite as well as I would like to. As a result, this painting is one that maybe I'd like to revisit sometime and see whether I can achieve a better effect for this under lighting that is supposed to be coming up from underneath him. When this alternation between light and dark has uh, been done a few times, then essentially all the colors that you need to move forward with the painting are already there on the canvas and you don't need to worry about trying to select new colors or anything. It's just a case of texturing the paint that is already there. And when it came to texture, I decided to follow the Wolverine's very wiry fur rather than the Fennec Fox's very fluffy fur, just because I personally find that a lot easier. And that might seem like cheating, but at the same time, it can be, you know, best to play to your strengths and not always be pushing yourself. And I pushed myself quite a lot with this painting already, I felt. As I moved down the creature, I added the final touches, including a ring of fire surrounding the outside of the pentagram, which I achieved by masking out flame-like shaped with the lasso tool and filling them with various flamey, fiery type colors. I'm not 100% keen on the effect that I achieved here. I think I could have done a lot better than this, uh, especially if I'd started using different layer effects and blending modes, but it's not a bad fire effect. I think it just needs a little bit of tweaking and I do think that it helps to bring together the whole final piece which given the amount of attributes and animals that I was given to combine here I think I've done a not a bad job even though there are a few things that I would like to go back and change. Well, I think I had a hell of a challenge with those animals and those attributes that I was given, and I think I've successfully managed to mash them all together into some new creature. We've got the Fennec Fox and the Wolverine in there, definitely. The Toucan, we've taken a little bit of inspiration for the clothing, the coloration of the clothing, and also we've got the Toucan uh, necklace and the legs as well. As for the five attributes, the magical, the huge, ancient, horned, and armored, I think we've successfully managed to get all of those in there as well. I'm really happy with the result. I think this guy is freaking awesome. And of course, Twitch chat has come up with another fantastic name for this guy. And of course, he's got a name as huge and as bombastic as he is himself. He is called Renick the Ancient Venator. And he is a badass demon spawn you do not want to mess with. Guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want to watch any of these creature creations happening live, then you can follow me over on Twitch. I try and stream at least once a week. The link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. Guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, as always, take care, and I will see you next time.